everybody and welcome to Music with Meg. I'm Meg and today we're practicing rhythm. Everybody follow me, it's Music with Meg. First, let's remind ourselves of all of the different musical notes we've met so far. These musical notes tell us the duration of a sound, short or long. First, we learnt the crotchet or quarter note. A crotchet or quarter note is worth one beat. Today, we're going to clap our crotchets or quarter notes. Will you clap with me? One, 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 one. Shorter than a crotchet or quarter note is a quaver or eighth note. Now a quaver or eighth note is worth half a beat. So for every crotchet or quarter note, there are two quavers or eighth notes. Now today we are going to tap our quavers, eighth notes, on our chest like this. Now we can go even shorter than that with our semi-quavers or sixteenth notes. A sixteenth note is worth a quarter of a beat. So for every one crotchet quarter note, there are four semi-quavers or sixteenth notes. Now we're going to clap our semi-quavers, sixteenth notes, on our laps like this. So we have our crotchets, quarter notes, one, 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 one. Our quavers, eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And, and we've got our semi quavers or our sixteenth notes, one and two and 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 one and two and. Now longer than a crotchet or quarter note is a minim or half note. A minim or half note is worth two beats. So we need a sound that's longer than a clap. So we're going to sound our minim by sliding our hands together like this. One, two, one, two. And finally, we have a note that lasts four beats. This is our semi-breathe or whole note. Now we need a nice long sound for this one, so we're going to begin at our shoulders and swipe our hands all the way down to the end like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's recap all of those one more time. We've got our semi breathe or whole notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Our minim or half note. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Our crotchet or quarter note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Our quaver or eighth note. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. And finally, our semi quaver or sixteenth notes. One and two and 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 one and two. Now let's get practicing some rhythms. We're going to sound the different notes by using the actions we've just learnt. And if you see a rest, then we're going to sound this with shh for the duration of the rest. We're going to begin in 4-4, four, four, which means there are four crotchets, quarter notes, in every bar. And this is our first rhythm. Let's work it out together. Let's begin with the first bar. The first bar has two crotchets, or quarter notes, and eight semi-quavers, or sixteenth notes. So we've got two claps, and eight taps on our knee. 
And the second bar begins in exactly the same way, with our crotchets, quarter notes, and then four semi-quavers, sixteenth notes, and a shh. Let's try that all together. We've got Great, now let's move on to the next two bars. Next we've got a minim or half note, so that's our sliding hand here. And then we've got four quavers. So that bar goes like this, one, two, one and two and one, two, one and two and. And the next bar we carry on with our quavers or eighth notes, which will go one, two, semi quaver, one, two, cut it. Let's try that one again. Great, let's put those two bars together. One, two, one and two and one and one and two and one and cut. And again, one, two, one and two, and one and one and two and one and clap. Finally, we've got our last two bars. So we've got a semi breathe or whole note. One, two, three, four. Two crotchets or quarter notes. One, two, shh. And that rest is for two beats at the end. Let's try those two bars again. One, two, three, four, one, two, shh. Great. Shall we try clapping that rhythm from the beginning all the way to the end? Let's find our metronome. Are you ready? Here we go. Good job, let's do it one more time. Here we go. Well done everybody. Now we're going to move on to a rhythm in three four time, which means that there are three crotchets, quarter notes, in every bar. Now this rhythm begins on an upbeat, which means instead of starting on beat number one, it starts on beat number three, which we call the upbeat. Here we are then. Can you figure out the first two bars by yourself? Pause the video if you like and you can have some time to work it out. Have you got it? Let's clap it together. Great. Now the next two bars. Remember you can pause the video if you like. Have you got it? Shh. Great. So let's go from the beginning. We're going to start on the third beat, the upbeat. So I'll count the first two beats. One, two. Shh. Great. Now can you figure out what comes next? We've got another crotchet or quarter note as the upbeat. And then we've got some semi-quavers or sixteenth notes. See if you can figure the next few bars out. Shall we give it a go together? And again. And the final two bars with the upbeat sound like this. One more time. 
Great, let's try that one all together from the beginning. Let's get our metronome. I'll count you in. We're going to begin on the third beat. Are you ready? One, two. And again, here we go. One, two. Great, now this time we're going to try clapping that rhythm in a round. So I'm going to begin and then I'm going to join in two bars later and you can follow me. Let's get our metronome. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two. Great job everybody! Now this week try writing your own rhythms using all of the notes we've learnt so far, including rests. If you and your friends all write your own rhythms in 4-4 four, four, or 3-4 four time, you can put them all together and see what they sound like when they're played at the same time. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you'll know when my video comes next week. And if you want to help me make more Music with Meg, then please consider making a donation via Patreon or PayPal. Have a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Bye!